So in the last video we discussed that um, things can be measured in different ways and one of the things that we can measure substances is by mass. And then we talked about the fact that a mole is another way of measuring things and that's the number of pieces. So in a lab we actually have, we don't have the ability to count the number of pieces of things but we do have the ability to weigh a sample of some substance. So we use the idea of molar mass in order Order to convert between amount of things that you have and the mass of the substance that you have. So molar mass is the generic term for the mass of one mole of any substance. And the unit for molar mass is grams over moles or grams divided by moles. And it's really easy to figure this out based on the definition of a mole. Remember that we said that a, um, a mole is the number of atoms in 12 grams of carbon-12. So essentially what we do is we take the decimal number on the periodic table and we say that this is the mass of one mole of those atoms in grams. And we did this with when we were looking at percent composition and we were looking at um, figuring out the total mass of a formula already, except now we're talking about not just one individual atom or one atomic mass unit, but we're talking about it in terms of grams, and we have a whole bunch of those atoms in that sample. So when we calculate our molar masses, we're not going to round like we did when we calculated our atomic mass units. So let's just do an example. So let's look at magnesium carbonate. So that's MgCO3. And if we look on the periodic table, magnesium is 24.3, carbon is 12, and oxygen is uh, 16. On our periodic tables, oxygen's like exactly 16. So you take one magnesium is 24.3, one carbon is 12, and then 3 times 16 for the three oxygens, and we get that the mass of one mole of um, magnesium carbonate is 84.3 grams. So let's do another example. So let's look, we've got sodium sulfide here. So you've got two sodiums and one sulfur. So it's 78 grams per mole. Let's look at some of these under the hood so that we can actually see. Um, let's do this one under, well, I guess we've already sort of done this. So let's just look at N2O4 under the, the Elmo. I keep calling it the hood. I don't know why. All right. So I've got to grab a periodic table real quick. All right. So let's just do N2O4, I said. So N2O4. So that would be two Ns. And we look here. That's 22.99 for sodium. And that's so close, we could probably round it. Oxygen has 4, which is 16. So, 22.99 times 2 gives me 45.98. If I add that to 64, that gives me 109.98. And that is grams per mole for uh, N2, O4. So exactly what we were doing before, except now the unit's just a little bit different and we don't round. So like I said, this molar mass allows it so that we can go from moles to mass or mass to moles. And the reason why we need to do that is because in the lab we have a scale and we, need, we can measure stuff in grams and if we want to know how many moles that is, then we need to um, you know, be able to calculate that. So let's just use, let's do a couple of examples using unit analysis to make some conversions um, for this. So if you can see, I'll just move this down a little bit. It says, let's find the mass of 3.66 moles of N2. So we have our um, amount here, so that's what we're going to start with. It's 3.66 moles of N2. And we want to go from moles of N2 to mass of N2. So the conversion factor that we're going to use is the molar mass. How many grams are in one individual mole? And we find that by looking that up on the periodic table. So 
one mole of N2 is going to be equivalent to, if I look here, nitrogen is 14.01, and I have two of them, so I would say 28.02 grams of nitrogen. So this is my conversion factor. So what do I want to go on top? Well, I'm trying to find grams, so I'm going to put the grams on top. And I'm trying to get rid of the moles, so I put my one mole on the bottom. And this cancels. And so I'm going to say that 3.66 times 28.02 gives me 102.55. And that is how many uh, grams of N2 I have in that substance. Okay, let's look at uh, another example. So let's say I have, um, let's see here. Let's just do this next one, number eight. It says, you have a bottle of potassium, and I think that's manganate is MnO4, um, and it contains 66.38 grams of the compound. How many moles do you have? Okay, so in this case, I'm going from grams to moles. So I'm going to just start by writing what I have, 66.38 grams of potassium manganate. And I want to go from grams to moles. So I know one mole of potassium manganate is some number of grams of potassium manganate. So I'm going to look up on the periodic table and add up and figure out what my mass of potassium manganate is. So potassium, if I look there, is 39.1. And I have one of them. I have one manganese. Manganese is right here, so 54.94. And then I have four oxygens. 16. I'm going to add all those three up. And I'm going to get 39.1 plus 54.94 plus 64 gives me 158.04. So there are 158.04 grams of potassium manganate in every one mole of potassium manganate. And my grams unit will cancel, so I'll be left by moles, and because this is on the bottom of the fraction, I'm going to take this number and divide it by that number. So 66.3, oops, 66.38 divided by 158.04 gives me 0.42 moles of potassium manganate. So those are two examples where we go from moles to mass and mass to moles.